Cotton Cool is what we like to call a high concept film, meaning that it's got a simple story, but it explores broad themes, it's very stylized, and it appeals to the masses. It was such an honor to be in this movie. Wow, this was a great film to make. It's magnificent. This movie and everyone involved in it was just beautiful. Cotton Cool is cooler than your refrigerator. I could be surfing right now and catching him sweet waves, but I wouldn't miss this opportunity for the world. cinematography and I had to use technology that I had never used before like color when I was approached to help um, design the sets for this movie um, the one guy that did come to me was Dane Dane ne ne Neves Neves the story is about a teddy bear whose teenage owner is about to go on her first date. And uh, this totally freaks him out because he thinks he's gonna be abandoned. I mean, that's some serious stuff right there. Yeah. This thing was freaking huge. I've never found a script as long as this. It was like 14 pages and um, I was flipping through it, just reading. I'm sorry. These bears just want to be loved. The reason Wiles drums this movie was because of puppets. I got to work with teddy bears, such great actors. They were puppets? Yeah, the puppets were, they, I think they were really cool. I mean, they had the whole vintage look, like used and beat up. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, they were puppets. The construction of the puppets was very difficult. We acquired about six full trash bags of stuffed animals from the Salvation Army. And what I did was I cut open their backs and I also cut open their mouths. I had to cut out a little piece of felt to fit around the mouth. And there it was. What I really enjoyed was uh, spending a day with the American Bears and working with the other actors. Oh, they are so funny! <laughs> and uh, I learned so much about the American language from the bears and the acting of the Americans. They were so good. Always, always on time and good timing. Always had the time. They're just... Oh. I'm getting a little... Just thinking about them. They treated me real well. So, uh, what was it like working with puppets? Sorry. No, please, no, that's... Why would you ask that? Like, no. He had a great love for Cooler. There's more of you? I don't know. I'm gonna do one more. The voice work for this movie was also a challenge. It was really fun. It was kind of frustrating having to say the lines like six times in a row, the same line. But it was fun. In the end, it did pay off. And it was really cool to watch my voice on a bear. I thought that was really neat. Let me ask you this. What is a puppet movie without songs? I mean, those two go together like mayonnaise and chocolate. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, hello there. Man, this 
this movie, the music is just crazy. It's pretty much the most shredding, ripping solos I've ever done in my life. <laughs> draw on all my influences for this movie, you know, uh, Led Zepp, a lot of Bono, yeah, The Edge, The Edge, he's edgy, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm so wasted. After the film was completed, we had a small test audience screening just to see if it was appealing enough. Having this whole test audience thing, was it, it was totally amazing because there were people there. Oh my god, you were the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Well, look at you. I mean, Dane, he was such a great filmmaker, and he brought chocolate chip cookies that were so delicious. And I got to work with such great actors like Friday. The teddy bears were awesome. Thanks, Dane. <laughs> when you see this movie, you feel the clouds opening up, and God is claiming you as his perfect creation. What the movie? It's, it's, it's kind of cool. With your eye, with your eye, and you see it, and then you watch because it's kind of cool. And 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 I'm in it, and puppets are in it, and it's it's just like yeah, you know. It's got everything you need for a good movie. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs>